Relax. It's okay. Relax. Relax your shoulders. Use your hands. Relax. So, chill. So, all right, guys. If it seems like I didn't know what he was going to say before he said it, it's because I don't know what he's going to say before he said it. He sent me. He's been editing on this extra phone that we have and recording his notes and his B-roll inside the notes. And so he sent me the notes. So I am hearing these things that he likes about teaching textbooks for the first time with you guys. All right, so in this video, which has been majority, like let's say 80% done by my son, he's gone ahead and he has figured out all the things that he loves about teaching textbooks, as well as um, filmed himself doing the things and He's gonna be running this video. I'm just his interviewer, and I'm, I'm like, is it interview or interview? But I'm just his interviewer, and I am going to be asking him questions and just letting him speak for himself. I feel like he's old enough to be able to speak freely about the things that he likes and why he likes them. We don't always pick our children's curriculum based off of the things that they like. Unfortunately, sometimes in life, we just have to do things that they don't like but or curriculums that they don't like but when you find something that your kids like it makes it a whole lot better so sean how long have you been using teaching textbooks i've been using teaching textbooks for three years it, i'm when i first started it we were living in this house we were living in a different house and then my mom took me to the computer and she's like, Sean, you should check out this curriculum. And I'm like, okay, sure. And instantly I fell in love with teaching textbooks. Yeah, he is one of my kids that likes, doesn't necessarily like one-on-one -on -one instruction or doesn't necessarily thrive off of one-on-one -on -one in instruction. He does well, he's being self-taught. So any opportunity, but you know, that's not possible. You gotta learn from people sometimes. But any opportunity that we get to allow him to be able to teach himself, number one, it's a wonderful skill to have. Um, number two, it, you know, it's a good thing to foster. So any um, opportunity that we get to give him that, like teaching textbooks, we do. So let's start off with the first thing that you love about teaching textbooks. I love how there's hints that give you a clue to how you can do stuff so that you're not always like so it's not always like you have to solve this and you have to solve this without help i love how there's hints because hints help children sorry i'm a child i am mm -hmm. so not a child anyways it helps little kids and kids that are using teaching textbooks to like enhance into the teaching textbooks instead of always being like okay i have to get this right or else uh, and you can also control the hints from the parent a lot. Like some children need hints because they might be younger. I personally like hints because it teaches me. But if you want your child not to have so many hints and for them to solve it on their own, then you can disable that. Yeah. But you like the hints part. Yes. It helps you whenever you feel stuck. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. So what is the second thing that you put on your list that you like about teaching textbooks? I like how there is also one extra chance if you get one wrong. Because obviously, we're humans. Mm -hmm. We're imperfect. Oh, yeah, that's true. So we can't always get it right. And usually when I first started, I'm like, oh no, if I get one wrong, it's wrong forever. But there's a second chance that you get. But, and, I, and this message is for children and adults, it's not that easy. You don't instantly get one second chance. Like, let's say the answer is 81. You have to either get 80 or 82. That's the only way it'll give you a second chance. Okay, so they don't just let you automatically get a second chance. You have to be like within, within the right answer yes. for them to give you another chance. Because then it would, then teaching textbooks would be way too easy if you always got second chance. Oh, all right, that's smart, that's smart, I like that. Okay, what's number three? I love the wallpapers and the buddies, and some of them are just so cute. <laughs> the wallpapers and the buddies make teaching textbooks more alive instead of just something, instead of a program where you just work and work, you can teach your buddies in different wallpapers 
And you don't have to choose a formal wallpaper. You can choose whatever you like. Whatever creative customization you want, you can go ahead, choose your buddy. But you have to earn some of them by doing a lot of lessons. When you do lessons, you, I think the more lessons you do, the higher of the chance that you will unlock a new wallpaper or buddy. Cool. Customization. Yes. We love customizations. I didn't know we were going to whip out that word. That's a good word, baby. Uh, I also love the sticker book <laughs> where you can choose whenever you get one right. It will show one of the stickers you chose from the sticker book. And oh, sometimes awesome. it can be an animation. Mm -hmm. It can be just a, a picture, whatever you want. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, number four. I love. I also love the scratch pad you have when you're doing lessons because some kids who are doing it at the time and they have a time limit to do it, like in my family. Yes, if I let him, he will sit and be doing teaching textbooks all day. So we have a time limit after one lesson. You can do it during your technology time, but we gotta move on. There's other subjects that need to be done. I wish, I believe me, I would have done teaching textbooks and <laughs> never eat. It's because sometimes I'm kids don't like, have the time to grab a piece of paper and be like, okay, so this, oh, time's up, I'll come on. So number five. So what about the teaching, so what about the scratch pad, I'm sorry? And so it also really helps if you don't have paper so that you don't have to go rushing around like, where's the paper, where's the paper? You get, oh, okay, all right, that's cool. So you like the fact that the scratch pad is right there. Yeah. And you always have your notes and your edits with you. Okay, cool. All right, guys. If it seems like I didn't know what he was going to say before he said it, it's because I don't know what he's going to say before he said it. He sent me. He's been editing on this extra phone that we have and recording his notes and his B-roll inside the notes. And so he sent me the notes. So I am hearing these things that he likes about teaching textbooks for the first time with you guys. So go ahead. This is a bonus. With the hint, you can also choose different kinds of sounds. There's a car honking, there's whistles. The options are endless. I hope you enjoy them. I know I will. That's weird. Okay, cool. So you like the different sounds. That's, that's what headphones are for. Headphones help to make the different sounds so much more fun, right? And come for alive. parent and kid. For parent my mom, and kid. My mom personally hates them. I don't hate them. I just strongly dislike them. No, it's just that we, there's a lot of noise and a lot of kids. So the, the sounds make it fun for him. But for me, it's just out of nowhere. So I'm like, oh, what was that? You know, so headphones. Headphones help. That's <laughs> my mom's best friend. Alright, what about number six? I love how sometimes, mostly almost all the time, it teaches you the stuff that you already know. It's like teaching textbooks can read your brain. Like it won't tell you any stuff you don't know and even if you don't know it, then it combines it with the stuff that you already know and then mushes it together so that you understand. It's not one of those, okay, you gotta learn this and then this and then this and it's an entirely new subject for you. Okay, but so, it combines it with the other stuff so that you can understand it and comprehend it. Okay, okay, so it's it's cohesive. It mm -hmm. flows really well. Exactly. So you go from one thing to the next to the next, like at, you're progressing and taking one step after the next. It's exactly. not like you learn multiplication and then you learn division and then you learn subtract. Like it, no. no, it's more like long addition, mm -hmm. long subtraction, mm -hmm long division so it makes it makes sense it goes it flows together okay all right i like that so you're not expected to know something that you haven't been taught yes right so everything that they that your practice questions are on and stuff like that you've been taught those things mm -hmm. okay all right i like that too. number seven and our final one i love the grade book because whenever i get one wrong it helps me learn and, and like usually kids will, will like you have act you like can see I'm the grade not, book. yeah so you, and your parents can see the grade book too mm -hmm. when i'm gonna share a little secret with you guys when i was a kid i hated getting things wrong like i'd cry if i get one question wrong 
I was one of those perfection people. Mm -hmm. But eventually I learned that that's almost impossible. Mm -hmm. So what? So what do we strive for? We strive for progress, that's not right. perfection. That's right. So, and um, I used to look at my grade book and I'm like, Mommy, I didn't get 100%. What? This is true. This really did happen. And I get very mad. So you love the fact that you can see how your grades are mm -hmm. and where you can learn more and, and um, improve. Exactly. All right. All right. So would you recommend teaching textbooks to other um, kids? Um, I'm not like most people and say, oh, of course this is for everybody. Is this something that you would recommend for kids your age? For my age, yes. You would? Yes. It, it requires a lot of creativity and stuff. Yeah, and kids creative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would say yeah, and for older kids too. So you're happy to keep doing this? I'm happy. <laughs> Can't you tell this is his happy face? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> now let's go to the outro. No, we're done. Teaching textbooks is the best. Oh, teaching textbooks is the best. Come on, buy it today. Buy it for free. Buy it any no, day. No, 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 we can't use any of this. Let's say bye. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye! What are you doing with your chest? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. <laughs>